Hi there, this is Monica from Inventory Planner. Today we have great news for you. We're launching a new functionality, which is how to send emails and automate reports in your Inventory Planner account. Let's have a look on how to do so. The first thing is that it will allow you to create emails, automate reports. Those emails will be sent automatically. If you choose so to chosen recipients, you will have the CCC and BCC function with predefined reports attached as CSV files according to your preferences. We will find this new button an option of emailing in the replenishment page. So let's have a look together. Here it will be as usual, we have our replenishment page. Here we can choose the warehouse that we want to. So we have for our demo store, the Shopify US warehouse. We have the Shopify UK warehouse, the FBA US, FBA CA, and then the combined warehouse. So I'm gonna choose for purpose, for testing purposes, the combined warehouse. Then we can choose as usual, if we want our report to display variants, assemblies, products, vendors, brands, categories, IP tags, or the total. So I'm gonna choose the, in this case, let's have a look, categories. Then we have here our default um, filters that we can personalize as well. So in my case, I'm gonna remove filters, but here we can select, update, delete, and then save our preferences here. Then here we have our metrics that we can personalize and customize as well. So I want in my report to receive my, the name of the product, the replenishment um, data and details, the stock levels, the on order, the replenishment date, the sellout and the sales. Let's say that I want to as well know the on order percentage that is gonna appear there. Here you can drag, drop, delete and personalize it and save it. So I'm gonna save it as my default columns and then you just save it. Then I have all the details that I need for my report. Now we have here a functionality that says email. So we need to click on it. It will load the following page. In the following page, we have the from gap, where is from which email address we're sending it to the email address of destination. So for testing purposes, I'm gonna send that to my personal email then we have the ccc function in copy which is the uh, copy that we can see the bcc is the hidden copy if we want to put any other contacts as hidden copy then the subject of our emails so i'm gonna call it replenishment test you can call it however you prefer. Here it has all the details from the browser on the previous page that I was saving for. If we want, if we click on the eyeball, we are gonna see the report page that I was uh, browsing before or where I, I did all the setup. Here you can download the report as well as a CSV file. You can attach another report. So let's say that I'm gonna attach now an aging analysis for the combined warehouses for the categories as well. And then you can personalize the columns as well and the filters. Then the schedule function is really important because this is what it, it makes a big difference between a, just one email sent and then one automated email. So we can automate it depending on the frequency that we want to receive our email and report. So let's say that for this one, I'm gonna automate it. I'm gonna ask that this report is sent on a weekly basis. It says every week on Sunday, but we can choose or change the date. And then here we have other options that it will stop or after a certain amount of time or on this specific date, or we, if you want it just as a current uh, automated report. Then as a message, you can write the message that you want. Testing purposes, I'm just gonna keep it simple. You can, you have here the option to send a test email, so you can click on it and then see how it will look like before automating it. And then you can proceed creating your automated report. So here we will see uh, the upcoming report. So it says the frequency, the details, 
is gonna start today on January the 2nd, 2022. Every week on Sunday, the type is the report email from my email to my email because I'm testing, but it will say the recipients. Then the subject, the replenishment test, the attachments, which reports did I decide to attach. We want to edit any automation we have this option edit automation we have here this option that says enabled or disabled we can disable the automation or automated reports if we need to do so and then here it will appear the past emails so which email was sent the report so here it says the replenishment combine all product type report aging analysis by product type as well the emails that it was sent to from to and all the main details and then here in view emails we have here that this replenishment aging analysis and then the test and what happened after then we will have this functionality um, appearing as well in our overstock report it works the same way here remember always to get rid of all the filters that you don't need you can choose the filters that you need to filter the information according to your preferences so for example uh, for stock levels minimum uh, let's say 10 max let's put 30 as unit apply filters then you can personalize the date range so the last 30 days i'm going to do the last seven days here again you can choose the warehouse combine all the specific warehouses if you want to see it on a variant level assembly level category level total level you can personalize it here so in this case i'm going to do it on a total level or maybe a category level then here we can personalize our metrics that are going to appear in our csv file again and we have the option email again it works the same way from to so for testing purposes i'm gonna start doing it with my personal email from me then the report is overstock report last seven days perfect here is all according to my previous preferences if i want to attach any other report i can proceed to do so if we want to send one single one time email we just in schedule we just put no schedule it's gonna be sent just once and then we just create the email here in emails we have when it was created what is it so this report overstock the user to then the subject and then we have the option of automation so the emails that are automated they are going to have this purple script that says the name of the automation if it doesn't have it it was a one single email here we have the option automation so as i was mentioning before tell us exactly all the automations when it was last modified the user the name of the automation and when it's coming through so every week on sunday this one the second one every day the test if we want to change it in bulk we select the items here bulk actions we select the drop down menu and then we put disable if we want to disable the automation or enable if we want to enable it so here it says this action will affect three automations are you sure you want to disable yes if we want to do the opposite we select our automations i want to enable them again warning sign perfect now let's have a look here it tells me the upcoming automation january 9th 2022 when is it the type from to subject here i can edit the automation as well again enabling or disabling then here we have the past emails and automations so here we have the recipients the reports included the view emails and then more details for each one then here we have the automation history so we will see what was created today and what was sent and then we have the option of emails and emails again when it was created what is it when it was sent 
if it was an automated or just a manual uh, creation of emails. We have the email function as well in all reports, so we can proceed creating the same. And this allows us to just understand how our, our business is performing. We, will, we can have it automated or not, depending on our business needs. This is a really good functionality to understand how our, our business is performing, any metrics and reports that we can we want to analyze and receive it straight away to our email. So we hope you get the most out of these exciting features. And as always, be sure to share any questions or feedback with the, the Inventory Planner team as you go along. Thanks so much.